time in the kitchen with Chef Elvis Bencomo from Passion Latin Fusion. That's right. Okay, it already smells really good in the kitchen. Okay, what are we making? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make our Mexican meatballs today with oh, a yeah. sofrito marinara. Sofrito? Sofrito is like a, it's a, it's, it's like a base that Puerto Ricans use like in their cooking. Okay. So what we do is we, we start off with a little bit of onion and then bell peppers and then, and then just put the, our sazon in there. What we call? I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not Puerto Rican, but I can really relate to you this. You can really pronounce the word. And my <laughs> wife is half Puerto Rican, so I've, this is so kind of like paying it. a homage to Okay, that. so walk me through the ingredients. Okay, uh, over here we have um, two and a half pounds of ground pork okay. and also beef. So you use, oh. Both. So we use both, yeah. Got, got and then uh, we're going to throw in about five eggs, some breadcrumbs. And then over mm. here we have, so for me, it's very important to layer seasonings. Yeah. So here we have a rice that we made completely separate, which is okay. seasoned with chimichurri sauce. Now, what's the difference? If you make it all together, does it all, you know, um, I, all the flavors? The, yeah, the reason we, you have to season it, because you can't go back. Like, yeah. once you season something, uh, oh, like, if true. you wait till the last <laughs> minute, like, it's not going to taste as, as uh, you, you can kind of, you could, you could tell like when somebody, you know, yeah. doesn't take their time that's on. That's my That's cooking. why we cook with passion. That's why I named the, the restaurant Passion, mm -hmm. because we cook with passion and everything is done, uh, you know, with, with love and passion. Of course. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get cooking with some passion here in a little bit, but for now. All right, guys, we are back in the kitchen and uh, I am now Passion Latin Fusion's newest employee. <laughs> that's right. Because uh, he, he laughs. <laughs> I'm making some meatballs. You're yeah, going to show um, me how you guys do it. And actually, the funny thing is I need to make some for the restaurant today, so we're so, going to kill two birds with one stone. Exactly, turkey. exactly. All right, so Elvis, what do I need to do? So anyway, uh, we're first going to throw in all our ingredients mm -hmm. into our meat. Okay. So if you want to just start throwing a couple of things in there, like okay. right here, for instance, we have some uh, chopped uh, roasted garlic. Roasted garlic. You just put the whole thing yeah, in? Yeah, just put the whole thing okay. in. I already measured it out, and if you guys want to check out the recipe, it's on it's on the website, the okay. Casa Fox website. Okay. And then also, we this is uh, roasted onion here roasted that we onion. did a little, with a little bit of uh, oil. Olive oil? Just okay. kind of cook it down for like just really low heat until it starts to caramelize. So that okay. gives it like a really unique uh, sweet flavor. Okay, so here, is it like a red onion, yellow? What, no, it's, what a, it's a yellow onion. It's a yellow onion? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then over here we have some lime juice. Okay, lime juice. Throw it in there. Okay, now what do we have here? Is this more it's olive oil? It's a little bit of oil to okay. uh, kind of bind this whole thing together. Okay. So the next thing you want to throw in is the breadcrumbs. And in this case we're using... These guys right here? Yeah. In this the whole case thing? We're yeah, the whole thing. Wow. We're going to be using the pinko breadcrumbs. <laughs> Okay. And then next we want to use uh, our rice. Okay, the Just rice. Throw the whole thing in there. Okay. So what's the difference between pinko and regular breadcrumbs? Uh, pinko is going to be a lot more crunchy and it's a Japanese breadcrumb. Okay. I personally like using them a lot for like deep frying mm -hmm. uh, because it gives it like, it just gives it a really good crunch. Okay. So you, and then also it doesn't burn as fast. Okay. Uh, so like if you throw some regular breadcrumbs in there, it's going to just burn a little it's bit It's just going to burn it. Okay. And then over here we have some toasted cumin. Okay. So you want to smell that? It just kind of gives it a little more fragrance. So if you toast the cumin, does it does it bring the flavor out more? Oh yeah, it okay. definitely does, it, and it also gives it like a like a, a smoky. You could you could definitely taste okay. it a lot more. Smoky okay. Flavor. So and then over here we're gonna throw in about an eighth of a cup of salt. Okay. And then some pepper. And then the pepper. Throw about half of that in there. Half. Okay. Then we're so gonna now the pressure stir it on. all up. Well, actually, you know what? You still have that to good. throw in the eggs. Oh, I still have to throw in the So I stir this up and yeah, then throw the eggs in? You could you could throw in the eggs, and that way you can do okay. it all at once. Okay, so how many eggs are we talking about here? There's uh, five eggs in there. Five so eggs. So we're actually making half a batch of what we make at the restaurant. So you, we're this making is, half this a batch. is going to yield about 30 meatballs. And now and I get you can to have get yourself. messy. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> you have dinner for the whole week. Oh, kinda. wow. Okay. <laughs> If you're if you're you know two people three people right okay so now you said that we're making this for the restaurant tell us a little bit about Passion Latin Fusion yeah, folks um, have never been well at the restaurant we do Latin Fusion uh, cuisine and Blech. here this is our Mexican meatballs uh -huh. I I got inspired to do these uh, when we were doing the Restaurant Impossible uh, shoot this right. was really one of our um, it's, it's been one of our most popular items okay and uh, we made them a little bit different during the show the shooting of the show but. I, being influenced with my mom's cooking and all that, and just eating these during uh, like winter when she would make like her stews, uh -huh. uh, it's really important to incorporate the rice into Blech. the mix. Blech. <laughs> Blech. Yeah, it's just fun. I'm sorry. I turned into a five-year-old in here. Okay, so no, now, that's cool. So we're mixing you it have, up. You have to have fun. You, so you mix it up. Uh -huh. 
And then uh, we actually, one of the things that I like to do mm -hmm. is to pre-cook one a little bit just okay. because um, that way I know it's seasoned right. Oh, so, okay. So you do like a, a little test meatball. You to make do, sure that you it's do a little up. test meatball. That way you 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 know the flavors there. If it needs mm -hmm. a little more salt, a little more pepper, okay, a little bit of whatever, whatever you want to uh, add a little bit more of. Okay. But in this case, it's usually like salt or something that it needs, just gotcha. because um, I don't know what for whatever reason we need to add a little bit more salt. I always like a little more salt. <laughs> Don't don't tell Kaylin Pearson, our nutrition coach. Don't say less salt. <laughs> oh, I, I always say more. Don't tell her. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna keep mixing these meatballs. We're gonna mix it up with the uh, the sauce. We're gonna do some plating. We're gonna talk more about Passion Latin Fusion. But first, we're gonna talk weather Blah, with meteorologist John Smith. John, take it away, buddy. Welcome back, folks. Beautiful start to this Monday morning in the Duke City. It's a good day to jump in a big vat of ice. Just oh, telling yeah. you, it's a great day to jump in a big bucket <laughs> of ice. And you did just that. I, I did just that. that. Yeah, Have you it, done the ice bucket challenge? You got challenged, I hear. <laughs> I, I did get challenged uh, yesterday uh -huh. uh, by one of our customers at Passion. Okay. Uh -oh. And I don't know, we'll, we'll see. You I know, don't know, you gotta step up. You Come on, know. you got 24 I, hours, buddy. I have buddy. to, I have to. It, well, it, you and Brittany could do it, because I challenged her this morning. The clock's ticking, so. I gotta do it. Clock is ticking. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we'll get to that in a bit, but first. Uh, Can I so mix this around? I Brittany's just wanna just, pull yeah. yeah, go ahead. I was making the bleh sound effect, and Brittany oh, gets really yeah. excited. Isn't it Can fun? you give us a cool sound effect? Come on, Brittany. <laughs> I was gonna think of a different sound effect that I could not think of more, anything. I was more. like, wee oo, wee oo. That's all right, all so uh, okay. so as you were saying, it yeah, uh, we're, before we went to break, you do this little test meatball. This here little to make test sure meatball. The, the flavor's oh. right. See. That's just so he can sneaky eat. It's good. Is that good? Oh yeah. All right, we yeah, did well. Good. All right. All right. So, so anyway. we got a lot of ingredients going on in there. We mix it up, get it nice and uh, all mixed up, and then all mixed up, and then now, now you're measuring in yeah, there. Yeah, we're, we're gonna okay. measure our meatballs. <gasps> okay. Oh. Well, just okay. this little thing here, and you just kind of play roll around with it around. until until roll it forms it a perfect circle. Okay. Or not a circle, a ball. A ball. A sphere. A sphere. A an orb. A meat sphere. A meat sphere. And I, I really like the cream. mixture of uh, pork and meat, just because it gives it this really unique flavor. So that's what okay. we—that's what and we've got going on in here. Yeah, it's, it's a mixture it's, of pork and, and beef. Pork and beef. Okay. Wow. And you just want to. Well, actually, the way we cook these at the restaurant, we eat. Would you feed this to somebody? Oh yeah. All right. I, I mean, the one that I specifically made. <laughs> All right. So then, uh, what we're gonna do is um, we throw them into the oven for about 30 minutes, or okay. until. The meatball itself reaches uh, 165 degrees, so okay. that way you know it's done. And this is after so like this that? part. Is that? Yeah, after we're the we're, we're just giving a little bit of color, okay. and then um, actually, if you if you just want to throw them into the oven directly, it's fine. So it's like <laughs> how so funny like would that have been if I? <laughs> so it's like 30 minutes. Pretty awesome. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna sear these, and then uh, okay. then they're gonna come out looking like Whoa. this, nice and brown. Where did yeah. that come from? Yeah, it does look delicious. And then. Uh, and then over here we have our sofrito marinara, which is. Um, so now, what goes into that? The sofrito marinara starts off with a little bit of onion, so we slow cook it with uh -huh. garlic. Okay. okay. And then uh, I throw in a, a, a couple of bell peppers. Uh -huh. uh, okay. One red and then one green. Okay. Right. And then that's just the base for the for the sauce. We add a little bit of cumin, uh, fresh oregano. Okay. Uh, I like using fresh herbs just because it, it has a little more intense flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, and then we throw in a little bit of uh, tomatoes. And tomato juice, okay. and then just wow. let it cook like slowly. Okay. And then once it's once it's done, it, it'll get this really nice, bright yeah. orange so color. We're talking slowly. What what sort of time frame are we talking about, Elvis? This one I cooked for about 25 minutes, oh, like okay. on a slow simmer. Okay. And okay. then uh, and it, and certainly it, it could have gone for like maybe like uh, like another 10 minutes. Okay. All right. So about then, a half hour, something like that. So about half an hour okay. would be perfect. And okay. then you just taste it, and then you season it with a little bit of salt. And uh, it just like, or a it's lot like oh my god, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So is this an appetizer? Is it an entree? Yeah, it's it's, a, it's one of it's a part of our uh, bocaditos menu on our uh, pasión. Okay. Uh, bocaditos being like tapas style Latin American dishes. Mm -hmm. So we have a range of about fourteen different uh, tapas style dishes. Wow. And the albonigas are one of them. Okay. So you can imagine how busy I am every day. Yeah. Making yeah, all this stuff. That's so, why you're putting yeah. me to work in here. Yeah. <laughs> so, every, yeah. so everything's Smart more man. fresh. And uh, we we do these things daily, so it's, it's just you know, cooking from the from what I like to say is like the cooking from the soul. Basically. Cooking Everything. from the soul. Mm -hmm. So right. 
So, so we once throw that's in, ready, what, yeah, what comes So next? we're gonna throw in our meatballs. Okay. Into the sauce. Okay. And you just let it cook there for about uh, uh, like five minutes mm -hmm. to kind of get some of those juices of the meatball in there. Okay. And then once it's done, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get it out. It's amazing how Whoa. like it just comes and out, you just reaches below the stove top and a completed dish is there. Wow. And that's our dish. And then it's uh, beautiful. Incredible. And then we serve it with uh, toasted bread. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we're gonna shave a little bit of manchego cheese. Okay. Manchego, manchego cheese being a sheep cheese from Spain. Okay. okay. And I just love doing that. It looks so cool. <laughs> this is like the act of yeah, just shaving cool. it off. And then we uh, garnished it with a little bit of pickled peppers, like uh -huh. our, our house made jalapenos. Okay. And uh, onions. All right. There you go. Thank you very the much. The all important fork. So we're going to dive in. So this is one of many dishes that we can get a Oh, yeah. On. This is, uh, like I said, we, we have about 14 different types of uh, Latin style tapas <laughs> dishes. And where are you guys located? We're located on 722 Lomas Boulevard. Uh, that's Lomas and 8th Street. We're open for lunch and dinner, 11 to 2.30 for lunch, 5 to 8.30 for dinner, uh, Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday. And we have Fantastic. a great like little cocktail menu there uh -huh. and serve some awesome beer and Very wine. Nice and uh, and it's just like, you know, it's really wow. good food. Oh, yes, it is very <laughs> good food. Delicious. For more information, head over to Gaza.com, click on the Style tab. We'll be right back. Elvis, that's fantastic. Buddy. Yeah. From the broad